Hello, uh, welcome to part number one of uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Now you may be wondering, why is it that I do not have my... I don't have Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes on right now. Instead I have this random page with, it, with a lot of text. And this text is actually a review for the Metal Gear Solid story. So to begin, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I it's been a while since I played the, the last Metal Gear Solid, which was Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, and a lot had happened uh, during during that one. But I wanted to just quickly go over uh, the story, uh, or I, or I guess briefly go over the the story, so that way uh, we are up to date. Uh, there's even more reading after this within the game, and I I will go through that as I go through this I guess and then I'll show you like we're gonna be skipping a couple of pages because that those those pages will be covered here as well so you know actually everything will be covered here so we don't really need to do the other pages there besides the last page so anyways 1918 Russia China and the USA created the philosophers a corrupt organization who control everything yep no about that President Kennedy did disobey the philosophers and and this is why in the Metal Gear universe um, uh, President Kennedy gets killed okay now we we know that uh, in Operation Snake the big boss ended ended up dying and that was actually the, the big big thing and after after Snake learned that he, he basically left the Fox unit with Major Zero well not with Major Zero but he left shortly after and uh, pretty much the big boss's mission or the boss's mission was to actually get the philosophers legacy which uh, it says it here the philosopher legacy a billion dollar a hundred billion dollar savings account so that's why the, the the boss was there you know to to get this and to also sacrifice herself um so that way there is no you know no war in a sense so portable ops what ends up happening is that I don't actually remember what happened there. Right, okay, so this is the more important one where um, the philosopher's legacy was actually split and the CIA director and the CIA actually obtained part of the philosopher's legacy. Obtained, you know, um, and Ocelot ends up killing the CIA and obtained the philosopher legacy and a list of naming all of the members of the philosophers. And Apparently, Major Zero and Big Boss used, so Big Boss is actually the real snake. We'll go over that as we go further. Uh, to reorganize the philosophers and create the Patriots. So the Patriots will, were the new philosophers in a, in a sense. Okay, so the Patriots gained control of the US government, aimed to fulfill the ideal of a unified world that was envisioned by the boss. Not to be confused by Big Boss, aka Naked Snake, which is you know, see, so so that's the difference. The boss is the other character. Big Boss is actually Naked Snake, which is Snake himself. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, Ocelot and Major Zero decide to to make Big Boss the face of Patriots. Okay. Foxhound is turned into an official military unit. This was a top secret unit, uh, but they made it official. So this is where uh, the story gets a bit crazy and there was a flaw within Peace Walker itself when I was playing it because right after this Peace Walker takes place and within this um, so what happened was that uh, Major Zero was afraid that Big Boss would die so therefore he decided to clone him multiple times using Eva as a surrogate mother as it says here and in addition to that what and what ended up happening was that Eva produced twins so there was liquid snake and solid snake both of them were considered in imperfect clones and therefore a third child was actually created called solidus snake and so solidus was pretty much the perfect clone of big boss pretty much to prevent the clones falling into the 
enemy hands um, they actually um, they all had accelerated aging so liquid snake sonic snake and solidus snake all three of them oh sorry all three of them had uh, had accelerated aging so they were dying super duper fast they would have died in the early 40s and if needed new clones could have been made so, so they weren't worried about that so the big boss was like what are you doing major zero and then he decided to leave the unit and then what ended up happening was that uh, he believed that the patriots have corrupt vision of the boss and decided to leave the patriots so now peace walker happens within peace walker um big boss actually mentions um there was a line in there where somebody said something about cloning and then big boss basically said uh nice nice um nice fantasy etc etc something like that and pretty much what ended up happening was that he just you know he just uh he just left not that sorry uh what i mean to say is that uh, that kind of made it a bit weird because before the events of the peace walker this stuff actually happened and for him to say that that's his fantasy it's uh, it's a bit strange for him to actually say that that was a very conflicting thing i was like what is wrong with this why why did it say that so um in peace walker dr strange love which is a scientist created the bo the boss ai for the uh nuclear deterrence stuff so so basically um let's say well you know what you should actually read up on it uh just to give you a summary in case somebody uh attacks another country uh nuclear de deterrence basically states that hey you know what if somebody attacks the other country so let's say that russia nukes the united states United States will not nuke back because if they nuke back, the entire Earth would be just gone because there would be, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Because there would be radiation everywhere. Um, and therefore, in, in order to prevent from that happening, they decided to actually make it so that they don't use, um, you know, nuclear weapons there. Uh, so, so basically they created the boss they created a, an AI that uh, that tried to actually reason like the boss would have reasoned because he was neutral you know what I mean uh, so it would have made the best decision in each circumstances and things like that uh, but what it, what uh, what ended up happening was that uh, an agent named Hot Coldman which was a uh, part of the, the CIA and he actually tried to try to take over that and actually configure it so that it actually fires at military sounds from frontiers and this was the small military that uh, big boss created uh, during peace walker so what a a ended up happening was that coldman is killed by the kgb as it says there um he you know he re he manages to reprogram the peace walker to fire on uh, on cuba and basically there was going to be a really really big stuff in which like he basically sended false data to the u.s so that way they thought that the soviet union was actually um you know using their missiles on them so like there was like a whole cutscene where they almost actually used it and it would have been over you know um and the big boss tried to convince the u.s that it was fake but there were other people that uh, that wanted to actually use them and therefore it didn't go through uh, so what ended up happening that the AI that Dr. Strangelove created was basically it it gained subconsciousness and actually walked, is, walked itself inside the water and therefore preventing the the false um, nuclear data uh to uh, to the <laughs> basically it prevented an all-out nuclear war where everything would have been obliterated so basically saved itself now th now this is the upcoming part is the one that's more relevant to to the story so i'm gonna actually read through this and that is 
Big Boss uses his group and Peace Walker's developers to build his own Metal Gear. Okay, this Metal Gear is stolen by a secret agent sent by Major Zero, and that that secret agent was actually Pause. Major Zero intends on using the Metal Gear to launch nukes at the U.S. and frame Big Boss and his group for the attack. Okay, Big Boss decides to create his own army nation free of the exploitation and corruption of the world's governments. He names his outer heaven. He he names this outer heaven. He plans to use outer heaven and take on Major Zero and his group of patriots. So pretty much that's it. So this is actually this is when um Metal Gear Ground Zeroes and Metal Gear 5 takes place. So Outer Heaven will most likely be the name of the small military that uh, Big Boss is going to create as time goes on. And as this person mentioned, between 1975 to 1984 is where Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain takes place. To prevent any spoilers, I will not include any more info about these here. So, so, so sadly, this person did not include more information and he has not edited it. Um, and... Uh, I will eventually ask him or request him uh, to hopefully update this too so I can actually add this to it even though I'm not gonna say like oh I think it is because I'm streaming this game and <laughs> you know um, or I guess uh, playing the test game you know um, anyways so with that said um, that's it so 19 big bosses f army fights numerous wars liquid so after I'm done with these two I will continue on from here and we'll actually uh, just summarize the story that happened in Ground Zeroes and Phantom P and the Phantom Pain, which there is, there isn't much, you know. So so with that said, let's go back. Let's so you you might be wondering what's why is there a background noise? That's because uh, Big Boss has been waiting for us. Um, and uh, from now on, uh, all of my videos will well not all but most of the videos will have me with the camera so uh, if you don't like the change and you have some strong feelings about it do let me know I, I I would be more than willing to actually take off the camera the only reason I have it on is so that there's a greater chance of someone coming in here and actually ch chatting with me while I'm playing this and maybe giving me some tips in most circumstances that doesn't really happen though anyways okay it's been started I'm in. So I deleted my save. I haven't actually played through this. I, I don't even know what the story is about. So we'll find this out together. I also bought a new GPU to actually play through this game at max settings at 60 FPS. So I did all of this work just to play the last Kojima's game, which is Ground Zeroes and The Phantom Pain. So let's get started. I also bought like a couple of cups of coffee because I think it's pretty short, so just want to get it done, you know. Okay, so fun, uh, first things first, let's go to options and see the control types. I will be playing this with mouse and keyboard. Um, you could also play this with a controller, but I feel that with mouse and keyboard, I'll have a much easier time maneuvering Snake than I would with a controller. I'm not really like trying to like start like mouse, PC versus console, you know, it's nothing like that. It's just that I just prefer mouse than controller in, in most circumstances so as, as you can see there is the controller options there auto aim correction the better reading the weapon will automatically that's I that actually sounds amazing I'm actually gonna keep that okay mouse sensitivity I'm gonna actually lower that one not actually I'm gonna increase it to seven the last time I remember it, it, it was actually too slow Okay, everything here looks normal. Display settings, English. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Everything looks fine here. Game settings, reflex mode on. Yep. What is reflex mode again? I think it was like when you actually uh, use it to basically do constant uh, instant takedown. You just hit, hit, hit a button and it immediately does like a cool CQC move. It's, it is really awesome. Alright, so this is actually important, so I'm actually going to configure this right now.
Uh, four it seems to be fine. Like, it's actually not super perfect for my monitor, but oh well. I'll, I'll, I'll just keep it at, at, at four. I think it's, uh, it's much better. Graphic settings. So display one, display two, so that goes into your stuff. So as you can see, I have it on full screen. I, I, I could also make it on, on Windows screen, but I don't really need to, you know. Fine. V-Sync disabled in some cases. Uh, when you have tearing, like as in like these part of the screen looks weird. Uh, that's because you're you're having tearing. Uh, if you if you if you enable this, it should go away. Uh, frame rate will be auto because the the other option is 30 FPS lock, which I don't want, and everything else is maxed out. Key assignments. I'm not gonna mess with that. We don't need to see this. Okay, uh, save data upload. I don't need to do that. Cast the tapes. I don't know what this is. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Pre-mission briefing. Okay, so so these are all the stuff. Pause this tape. You discovered contact with big boss. Big boss. Big boss. Right hand. This looks to be an extension of uh, of Peace Walker, and it's the continuation of the story from Lungs of Pain. The music tape, okay. Pause's diary. That music that plays when your helicopter appears. That's cool. I'm not gonna mess with it right now, though. All right, so we are actually going to briefly go through Pause's stuff too. I'm not sure if we're gonna go all the way, but we'll we'll see. So th this is a backstory. Um, we, these are the events that took place within uh, Peace Walker. So you can actually see all of that stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and skip a little bit. So the page that I wanted to sh to actually start from was actually number seven, which actually goes through the events that happened in Peace Walker in detail. But I believe that I've explained it briefly. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it here for a little bit and just read through it quickly. So this is the part, if you read the first paragraph, it basically says the boss AI sank Peace Walker to the bottom of the lake Nicaragua, stopping the launch. With the crisis behind him, Nick took advantage of his recent mobilization to continue Mother Base's expansion indefinitely. Snake understood that the AI had acted to save the world, but that did not change the fact that this system, based on the boss's mind, had chosen at last to lay down its weapon. As a weapon himself, Snake felt the act to be a rejection of his life. Un undeterred, Snake and Miller invited Doctors Huey and Strangelove to Mother Base to develop Metal Gear Zeke, a bipedal weapon they eventually equipped with a nuclear warhead, suddenly making their unit a nuclear power. Yeah, I do remember that. Uh, so the third paragraph here is, is actually really important because that's what made uh, Big Boss take up his title again instead of like ju just saying Snake uh, because he felt that that the boss betrayed him by not going all out. She decided to lay down her weapon and have Snake kill him. So technically, the boss decided to go easy on 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 Snake to uh, and ended up dying because she wanted to. Meanwhile, Mother Base took in pause, already an orphan, but now left without even her KGB benefactor following the end of the crisis. However. This was all engineered by an intelligence agency known as Cypher. Now Cypher is really important because that is the new, that is like some crazy ag agency that Major Zero came up with, which we actually learned about at the end of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Under Cypher's orders, Paz got close to Amanda, Chico and the others while exploring more and more of the base, secretly plotting to hijack Zeke. Her objective 
was to use the weapon as a bargaining chip to force Snake into becoming the military arm for Cypher. Paula's attempt failed when Snake defeated Zeke and she was thrown beneath the waters of the Caribbean. It was only then that Snake learned Chico had fallen in love with her. A diary she kept while on base was discovered several days later. It revealed a young girl torn between serving Cypher and following her heart. Perhaps due to Paws revealing the existence of Snake's nuclear to Cypher, the International Atomic Energy Agency contacted Mother Base to request that it agree to a nuclear inspection. If word got out that Snake's unit had a nuclear weapon, it would, call, it would face severe criticism from around the world. But Huey, acting on his own, informed the IAEA that Mother Base would allow the inspection. His reasoning was that as long as they kept Zeke and its nuke hidden from the inspectors, they could demonstrate to the international community that they were not a threat. The option to call off the inspection having expired, Snake and his men reluctantly got preparations underway. Meanwhile, Amanda, deployed in Cuba to assist the Sandinistas, learned that Paws had survived the timing could not have been worse. Suspecting her of turning her back on the organization, Cypher had captured Paws and was interrogating her at the US military base on the southern tip of Cuba. Chico learned of this and set out to save Paws by himself. It was not long before a radio message from Chico reached Mother Base, saying he too had been captured. Wow. With an idea as Cypher's true identity, Snake could not allow what Chico and Paws knew to fall into their hands. Furthermore, if he could rescue Paws, he might be able to get information from her that would help him fight back against Cypher. On the eve of nuclear inspection, Snake made the decision to leave for Cuba. Okay. So this is pretty much the direct uh, continuation from Metal Gear Solid uh, Peace Walker, which is pretty amazing. Okay. All right, so uh, <laughs> this is awesome that they're actually con continuing this. This kind of feels like the Assassin's Creed type, type of thing that they do. It's great. I love it. I love it so much that I have to actually message uh, Lazarus there because that's amazing. Actually, Lazarus is not on. He's probably playing. Uh, uh, what's that? <laughs> what's that thing called? Sorry, I can't remember. He's 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 probably playing Fallout 4 actually. All right. Uh, anyways, let's get started with the game. I know that I've spent a lot of time just talking. It's been 23 minutes, and I've been just talking. So let's go. Okay, I can make it normal or hard. Actually, I, I can only make it normal. Rescue mother base member Chico and and high value target pause from a U.S. naval prison facility, and escape the mission area by chopper. Okay. There aren't many missions here, huh? Here we go. They're basically just re you know, just uh, reinstating the whoa. I actually have to pause this here uh, because um, my my streaming stuff is currently taking up a lot. Like this game is really well optimized, so I'm gonna make it a bit fast instead of medium. Hopefully, change it. Okay, it's it's a bit better now.
it's just still not good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, gonna try very fast here and see if that helps. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make this um, make this a two-part thing. Has been this is an infiltration. Okay, so this uh, will pretty much uh, conclude part number one of this. Uh, I'm sorry, but I did not expect it to be this intensive on the computer. Uh, with my current streaming settings, uh, it's gonna be laggy if I'm playing, like uh, because of the fact that it's using a lot of my processing power. And that's why I am going to not play it with these settings. So therefore, I will be right back momentarily uh, with much better streaming settings, which will be um, a lot less stressful on my computer. And therefore, it will be a smooth streaming stuff, you know. So with that said, uh, thank you for watching part number one. Part number two will be starting very soon. <laughs> All right. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye.